Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 Round of 64 match between Peds McDuff and his Chaos Dwarves, also known as Pedro Jack in chat, and Spartacus and his Pro Elves. In the booth with me is Kalon and Fimey. Hello! Hello! Hello everybody, here we have, oh already the Abbe Skulls, nice start. That's the kind of thing you want to see in your first turn. Oof. And this game of the round of 64 is dedicated to our viewers in <laughs> Singapore. Okay. Singapore. Fantastic. Yes. They speak their English, Mandarin, Malay, and Tamil. There you go. Proper uh, cosmopolitan And the national place. dish is the Chinese chicken rice. Ooh. Oh, chicken what? rice. Chicken oh, rice. I love this rice. place yeah. already. <laughs> <laughs> and the national flower is the Vanda Miss Joaquim. Why a plant has that name, I don't know, but you know, it's very proper. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Joaquim, what, so Joaquim is just a name. Is it, is it named after a saint or something? Uh, no, 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 no. But Miss Joaquim, Joaquim is a male name, so I don't know. Must be a long story coming here. Yeah. <laughs> I hope any of our viewers in Singapore can explain it to us. <laughs> That'd be lovely if you could. Yeah. Oh. Well, there we go. So he yeah. blocked. He blocked on the LOS with claw and rolled to seven and didn't break AV. But then with his blitz, yep. he blitzed with mighty blow and got the removal because of the mighty blow. So that worked out wonderfully. There you go. Pretty exciting stuff. And big, big um, player remove block guard. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, shame about the um, double skull earlier, but it is what it is. Uh, still, I mean, these are all pretty safe blocks, right? Uh, he's going to have to come and pick up the ball here with the sure hands. It is a seventy-five percenter to pick it up. Uh, in the rain, but um, I mean, the bull came around quite a bit back. Like he still needs to get another square in after this pickup. Oof. But he's got the wizard as well, hasn't he? So I think he wants to be a little bit, uh, a little bit wide uh, for the wizard. Uh, yeah. um, th there is a wizard and two babes for the elves, and they've got a pretty nice okay. team actually. The elves haven't they? Blood guard on both uh, blitzers. Although there's some yeah. injuries, there's quite a few injuries on the team. Yeah, um, but uh, quite a bit of blood step. Uh, two lovely blitzers, both uh, both blood step guard. Which is yeah, really nice. not a lot to them. Only eleven men, and to be fair, there's not a lot to the chores to say they're up two fifty TV. But it's enough for this match, isn't it? Five guards, um, some yep. mighty blow. But yeah, no um, mighty on the claw is is really terrible, and obviously a, it is a yeah. shit ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the the shit ball to be fair, bad. he's close to getting decent, but. Um, mm -hmm. This this bull's good, but yeah. Yeah, it's... he's lovely. Yeah, and the ball carrier is nice. Yeah, and overall, it's it's a pretty decent team. It's I mean, it was third place chores, chores but uh, and so you can understand why he didn't put plug the extra couple of games in because it was such a tight uh, race. Yeah. But it's... um, but it does it is lacking a little bit of that extra. Um, yeah, very very light like for chalice. Yeah, exactly. The, the mighty blow, the, the 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 lack of mighty blow on the claws is does is is sad. Mm. Uh, the reason um, Art oh. The reason Artemis does he eat it? It's the reason Artemis. Uh, oh, we've got, we're playing this in real time, so yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, Artemis doesn't like taking uh, guard first on the chorfs because um, there's nothing. Nothing makes him more sad than a guard claw. It, it's a guard claw is tragic to be fair because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 15 SPPs to get in mighty blow, and then yeah. and then also it's even longer to get him piling on as well, isn't it? Which is yeah, which is the big thing. So. But if you're going to put in the uh, put in the, the work, um, then I think it will be still fine overall. Uh, hello, Neuro. How are we? Hello. Yeah, I mean, guard, guard is definitely better for winning. Like, I, I would I would definitely put like maybe his guard first on the first three or four, and then maybe his mighty blow on the last two. You know, something like that, so that you you get okay. the best of both worlds a little bit. Mhm. Mm Depends. It depends how good you are, like how much better you are than the average person, and how much time you're willing to commit to like restarts and stuff as to whether going mighty yeah. blow first is better. But I'm sure guard is better for winning games, for sure. On at least like the first two or three. So ball is safe, and this hit was on. Is able to immediately go in and hit the AV6 um, blitzer. AV7. But, oh, sorry, AV7, thank well, you. Maybe, maybe AV6 now, no, only badly hurt. <laughs> Apple does come in, Apple does it? Is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has to. He has to, well, he's team. one of his best players. Uh, I was going to say this to you as well, lads. Uh, what do you think of the two babes over the second Apple? Yeah, I, I think the two babes are going to give him a better uh, return. You do? I, there is going to be a lot of chaos. I mean, there's already two chaos, so there yeah, you go. Fair enough. 
Yeah, I, 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 I tend to go the second Apo just because you can always use it on the KO as well, can't you? And then like it's actually on the pitch rather than just maybe coming back. But yeah, it's it's a it's an odd one. I think I've taken like two beers with like Amazons before because you know I feel like Armor Seven they are going to take a load of KOs. So mm-hmm. I have taken double bibs before, but I, I, mm-hmm. I think I would have gone up. Of course, the uh, the jokiness of the lads in chat will say that um, whichever one you take is whatever thing happens to you most. Because if you take the extra apple, you only ever need one, and if you take the double babes, uh, you need two apples. That's why I take the two apples, you see, because I don't mind yeah. tails as much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take the four pluses. But yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah, like too often the two plus just doesn't matter, right? You'll just roll a four plus anyway, uh, or you'll yeah. roll a one. So like, it, 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 the babe seems so unlikely to actually work, <laughs> even if you it take is. multiple KOs. Where and if you do take multiple KOs, then you can make your apple work for sure. So you know. Sure. I don't, I don't think in this game you use an apple for a KO. I don't think there will be time for that. I think there's going to be a lot of casualties. No, true, true, yeah, exactly. Yes. Right, yeah. So I think the, the babes will be uh, better. Also, apples could fail. You know, you can get the casualties they that can. none of them is a badly hard or something yeah. like that. Yeah, well, you're not wrong there. We've all had the old apple fails. Uh, but that wasn't one of them. Did get it badly hurt as a second option, and that was the one he chose. So um, does have full. Um, does will get that blood stepper guard back in uh, at the next, start of the next drive. Mm. So uh, curious to see if he. I mean, he, he can't keep, stay engaged here. Like he probably lie down, right? He could bolt. I think uh, he needs to be very. Uh, Spartacus needs to be very aggressive. And uh, try to go for the ball as quick as possible because he's already three men down. Yeah. So this is like so, I thought he might have appled. Uh, I thought he might have wizarded here because this mm-hmm. looks to be like the last chance he's got. Right. He could put the guard in there, blitz this one, then block this one, and then open up the open up the route, and the edge five could have t- taken it away. So the the if they if he was going to wizard on his opponent's drive, I think this was the last chance. On turn two, <laughs> I think this was the last chance to 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 bowl basically. I think in a few turns there is not going to be much uh, to be told about this drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he can't even properly outrun them because of the bulls, right? Yeah, that that is the problem, which is maybe why he decided against it. Yeah. And the powerhouse of his team that are the you know blotch step guard pieces. Mm. Problem is you are facing chorf, so. Yeah. That dodge there is no that. Uh, nah. It doesn't have the same bang it would against other teams like a claw, or other claw teams certainly. Um, but yeah, it's actually pretty nice uh, spacing out by uh, Pedro as well. Fair play to him. Mm. Um, also, by the way, hello Lehman Russ, hello Purple Chest, hello everybody who hasn't said hello to. Sorry. In the debate of the second apple, I like it uh, more when you actually have winning matches players. You know, when some of your players are, this guy will make yeah. me win the yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's fair. like, okay, yeah. I'll have an extra apple or something like that. There yeah. you go. See, this could have been good though, right? So if, if he bought this yeah. guy and then he made yeah. this blitz and this block, this edge five could have come in, picked it up, run back, would have been in a cage. Yeah. Like, You're not wrong. It, it would have been... It would have been worth thinking. I think he did think about it a fair amount. Yeah. But now I'm not sure he'll get a, a, as good a chance as that again this half. He might, though. You never know, do you? Yeah, this is it. I mean, he's kind of... The amount of space that they're available to the to the Chorfs here is quite tight. Uh, and in order for him to get all of the hits, he's going to have to go into it. And that could be even more favourable overall uh, for the wizard, if you know what I mean. It could be. Mm -hmm. There's less guys back to cover, you've got speed to go around, Um, you know, even a fireball might be worth throwing in. I think uh, if he doesn't uh, move that bull a little bit, it's going to be a fireball coming. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe. Oh, and if he switches over here on the left, that's all hobgoblins mostly covering him. Okay, so he's not going too okay. far. Forward. I think if he's gone forward far, yeah. there, we might have seen mm. some action. Definitely. 
He's very careful about the um, fireball threat. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. I mean, <clears throat> if anything, he's doing well. The fireball is helping um, Spartacus quite considerably in taking fewer hits. And for those that didn't know, Perth Macduff, the chore of uh, coaches in truth, Pedro Jack uh, 999 or something like that, a long-standing uh, member of the channel. So probably yes. the FBI is already tracing his position. So it's yes. just Spartacus, I'll just wait, just in chance. Yep. <laughs> for the SWAT team to arrive. <laughs> Correct. Nice big pound the claw. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Which is essentially nothing for this match. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I was about to say maybe the blitzers, but one of them is at least his armor seven as well. It's, it's, so. it's yeah. a chore. It's literally one, one guy. It's a chore armor. that you can hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't get picky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good job by Pedro Jack by, uh, you know, protecting the hobos. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the rest of these are just dodges away, I'm assuming. Um, oh, he's going to take this hit. Mm. Um, I suppose they can kind of get involved in a little bit of a scrappy poo if, um, considering there's no stand farm around the place. Yeah, you got to you got to punch when you can, haven't you? Yeah, yes. you uh, he needs he needs uh, right now. Uh, Spartacus is in the situation. That, okay, I need to high roll here. Make a couple uh, very good uh, injuries, casualties, you know, try to take mm -hmm. away one or two chores, and then we'll see. I mean, he's playing very conservative, keeping a distance, not risking too many players. I will say, however, having decided to take that hit using the loner there for the assist, um, he has left his other blood step guard. Yes, that's the problem. The blood, that, I was saying that blood step guard is the many chances of getting a punch next time. Yeah. Who and knows? Quite a, quite a bit Who of space knows? Available to them here as well. But you know, he is your toughest player, and if he does hit him, then you then you can sidestep so get hit <laughs> back again. Can. So it's. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Kind it's of a fun. it's a decent risk to take. Might he might just blitz? Okay, I was thinking he might have blitzed this. This guy from mm -hmm. above with him, so we would have blitzing it on extra mighty blow hit. But he just blitzes with mighty blow anyway, which is fine. It's fine, yeah. Gets this done as well. Goes for the easiest hit. Mm. And he's going to be able to uh, get the ball quite safe over here. Yeah, I ball think, ball. yeah, I think, uh, if, you know, if you don't take down the, the blood step uh, guard, he can just move, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, get a lot of, uh, give you a lot of free hits or chances uh, for uh, next turn. Yeah, for sure. Ah, so yes, I, I hate hitting that kind of uh, pieces. I yeah, hitting, hate them. hitting blood I hate is it. always a pain in the hole. <laughs> because even if you take them down, you need to break the armor. You do, yeah. This is as tight as the cage has been now. It is, yeah. We got this, uh, this guard, Hobo, who really wants to go in and protect, but... Um, he doesn't want to get in there. Mm. 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 That's we'll kind of tempting. With with turn. Yeah, it's really tempting. There's, there's, there's four guys there. Two hobos, two chorps right in the dead center. But, I mean, you don't get anything out of it if you knock no. him down. No, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. You could fireball your own guy here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you remove these two, you can get him, but no, I wouldn't. He could bolt the bull, front left. Uh, he hasn't got, you know, he's got one tackle on the team that's over here. Yeah, it is, yeah. And Too far. The rest are over there, so you've, you'd, have to, you'd have to bolt the ball and then get him in the yeah. F5, which seems a bit rubbish. It does. There's nothing really fun coming out of the chain of the um, by hitting the the guy in the middle either. So yeah, no, I think this is fine. Just just stealth screen. When in doubt. When in doubt, wait 16 turns to lose. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> got your, uh, you don't your... even need to weigh 16 tons. <laughs> yeah, with your pep talk for um, for yourself before you go into your game against uh, PC, is it? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll go balls to the wall and lose earlier. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so we'll see. I'll probably be taking the the kind of you know the high elves versus Cruz kind of line. Ooh, lovely. And we'll see. We'll see what yep. happens. The first, what happens. First couple turns. Of turns yeah, and, uh, either nope out and double dacker or uh, or go balls to the wall. Yep. Uh, evening alley, uh, Singapore. Yes, is the people from Singapore. Uh, you guys haven't set a date yet. Obviously, it isn't tonight because we've got loads of games on. Uh, but it'll be in the coming days. Yes, probably next Wednesday, hopefully. Yeah, so that you can at least stay in for a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to stay in for as long as possible. Mm hmm. <coughs> Strash. Oh, Finishing the chalice in the 33rd place. Mm, yeah. Perfect. That's <laughs> ideal, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, that's what it's all about. Better mm -hmm. on, I mean, Pro Elves in Journeyman is like a standard for the team. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that they only have one is like, oh my god, this is a good Pro Elves team. It is, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, second double skull. Mmm. This, this is the thing, it. right? Round one of Chalice, they've got one Journeyman. If they get the final, they'll have six. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is exactly how it works. There and is Kevin and a uh, good elf's tactic, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he may he may actually only have one Journeyman, but you're also noticing that that guy is edge bust, the Blitzer is move bust, the other Blitzer is edge, is, is uh, uh, armor bust. Yeah. Yeah. Brutal. So... Hopes and dreams are the standard upon which most uh, pro elf teams are built. Yep. You go for foul on that. Uh... He's kind of set up for it, isn't he? Foul on the guy who's down in the middle. I don't know. I think he's trying to just make a net around the ball. Okay. I don't think he'll foul. I mean, he might, mm -hmm. but I don't think he Because he's got two reserves, he might. Does, yeah. He, he only has one dirty player, and he's the one with kick. So mm -hmm. come on, you have to foul. Yeah, it is turn, mm -hmm. turn five, and um, he's put in. Uh, he hasn't got a huge amount of removals. Um, obviously, the Apo gone as well makes the foul that a little bit better. But and it is only a, it's an el it's a pro elf, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's not fouling. That hobo has two boots as icons. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, he, he, once he's moved the bull here, he's never fouling. Yeah, exactly. you, you've got to move the bull down here if you're going to foul with him. So once, exactly. Once the yeah. bull's up, you ain't fouling. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh, I, don't know, I was going to say something, then it's completely, completely gone. <laughs> never mind. Oh. Alright, bud. I'm, I'm shattered, I don't know why. But there you go. Mm. How many hours of Minecraft uh, have been added to the counter uh, today? God, quite a lot last night. Quite a lot. Probably is a good 10 hours. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's 10 hours of Minecraft. <laughs> Some Minecraft has played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, turn five and only one reroll left. I, I know it's Charfs and they kind of don't really need a huge amount, but... Um, That's what I was going to say, it, thank it you. Yeah. That's yeah, what I was going to say, the two double skulls. The fact that he, like, he didn't do all of his safe moves first and everything before rolling that double yeah. skull, maybe he could have accepted it. I mean, I don't know, because I wasn't really paying much attention, but... Yeah, no, yeah, he was say, set up the blitz and it was, um, it was the blitz was, 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 was correct. It was a safe blitz to do so that he could get the space to move right. Mm -hmm. So, um... I, I think it was. I think it was fine. It's interesting, isn't it? It's and the other one was the second block, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had to reroll the first one, I think. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I think it was fine overall. I think it was just a little bit unlucky. Mm -hmm. I built a. Uh, I built a hoglin. I built a hoglin farm. Uh, Excellent. Which, which makes me cooked pork chops. That's what I get. Oh, lovely. Yep. So great for a bit of energy. Yeah, yeah, really good. I'll, I'll tell you how many pork chops I've got, shall I? Sure do. It's going to be thousands. <laughs> it's going to be thousands. It's going to be millions. 
1,824. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Are they all? Are they kept in divisible by eight as well? Yes. Yeah. Sixty-four. Sixty-four is like a stack yeah. in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In, in Minecraft. Yeah, great it's food. Awesome. Great food. Wonderful. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretend they're potatoes at least. <laughs> mm. I thought golden carrots were stupid. Like I, I hate eating golden carrots. I just think that's dumb. I thought I'll make What does a golden carrot give you? Um like roughly the same amount of health. Roughly the same. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you've got you've got I'll tell you, I'll I'll explain Minecraft for you now. You you've got you've got like health pips and then you've got like uh regenerate so you've got your health. You've got health yeah. and hunger basically, right? You've got health and hunger. And so the pork chops r restore slightly more hunger than golden carrots, but the 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 replenish health at a le lesser rate than the golden carrots. Understood. So, it's 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 interesting as to it's not clear which is better, basically. Well, you have thirteen thousand of one of them, so I guess. Yeah. That will be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just it's just it's just is what it is. Like people people, you know, value different different ones differently. So it's it's entirely down to the player whether they think. Golden carrots or pork chops are better. And then I thought, if I make pork chops, they look like potatoes. So that's that's a better solution. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and also, how the fuck do you get golden carrots? It's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it, it kind of is. Yeah. I mean, Will we see know, a bolt here? We could see a bolt <clears throat> because uh, you know the Edge Five could get it, and he could he could run away here. This guy he's moved six. Fuck's sake. This guy could then move away over here. So he could he could bolt, add five in, give it to this catcher, run away, and screen him as well. So th this is actually maybe he's a good turn at wizard. He's not doing it. Well, I think maybe he could have wizarded then. Fair enough. I think he should have probably thought longer than he did. Yeah, it, it looks like he had already had an idea in his head of what he wanted to do. Yeah. If this was move seven, it looks a lot better, right? Because then you then Does you're getting further away. But this guy could have got up and away ish. Same, same place. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that that was a pretty good that was a pretty good move because there's no responsive pieces up here. That would have been really it could have been really nice wizarding. He's gonna go uh, beat up the uh, the shit bull instead. Mm. It would have been a ballsy wizard, but. Mm -hmm. The recovery would have been complicated. Yes, yeah, you'd have had to like basically done this blitz, and uh, and you'd have had one person to cover the breakaway, and depending on where the ball went, it would have been you know it could have been pretty horrible. But I mean, you're at five, aren't you? So you've got to. I just think he had to go. Like I don't think he's going to win without doing that, basically. Mm -hmm. And like the payoff, if it works, is just unreal, isn't it? Like you know. You could you could cas you could cas the hobble with the ball, which would be really good. And then, you know, if you end up this if you end this half one up instead of one nil down, then you just win basically. You certainly do. Um he's a little bit far down as well, um, Pedro. Um so he may have to go in a little bit early if he finds himself in difficulty getting out of current turn. I mean he still has the one turn option. Yeah. And uh, his team is not to batter it down, so... Reloads this, because he's good. Oh, but then he hasn't got two turns left. Well, he's only got one turn left to stop the score, but then also yeah. he wants to use the reroll for the one turn. But... Yeah, he does, yeah. I don't know about yeah, that reroll. Well, he kind of had to, right? Because he just comes back in the middle now. Like, this oh, yeah. is yeah. it's super glorious to come back in the middle, or at least further in. Maybe he's not back to the middle exactly, because then you'd have to blitz this guy first to see if you power him. If you mm. want to go to the middle, so but you could just you could actually just go up assist and blitz and do the blitz first, and you could even take a double skull there because you've still got a pretty strong yep. cage. Yeah. But you definitely want to get mid if you can. Oh.
Just because that's, it's it's like the whole three hundred thing, isn't it? That's if in case everybody, in case there's anybody watching wondering why you'd like to be in the middle, um, you know, if if you're on one side, it's like you can't go here, can you? <laughs> so they yep. only have to defend this area and this. So they've only got to defend like two thirds of the pitch, basically. If you're on the side, whereas if you're in the middle, they've got to defend all three thirds because you can go you can go laterally and like spread out, can't you, to get in the end zone? So it's 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 really terrible to be on the sideline. You def and there you go with that sidestep. Now you yeah. definitely got through the middle here. Maybe Spartacus will like try to score early in the second half and then use the wizard to turn over for the two one. That might be an idea because yeah. he hasn't taken any more attrition. So no, he maybe, hasn't. He could have like, a very little wizard. Managed yeah. to score the one turn. I guess we'll be watching Adaka with a wizard in the second half. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, there is a chance he gets yeah. the one turn. There's no stand for. Mm -hmm. So the one and turn uh, isn't too ridiculous. Like it's not. It's not a great one turn though. He's, he's got either move eight, edge five, or he's got move eight and sidestep. But like neither one is really great for a one turn. But there's a chance. He still has uh, a reroll, so it's worth trying. And if he manages to do it, I think it's gonna be a Dak and Ellie for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, he's yeah. got to try it. It's just it's just not that yes. likely, is it? Unfortunately. Yeah. Just gotta like roll. You've just gotta roll good dice. Oof! Can't reroll that because he's got no rerolls mm. left. His buddy's kind of doing the job though. What is this? Really. He's got yeah. one reroll left, but he, like he has to have that reroll for the last turn, doesn't he? Oh, you have to. But yeah. then also, you also don't want to give up this hit on the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, gear five. Yeah, giving up this hit is a bit shit, isn't it? Or yeah. use the wizard and uh, grab the ball and throw it somewhere. The problem is that he can't score now for the wizard, isn't it? That's the thing. It was last turn he actually could have scored from the wizard. Whereas now, uh, yeah. no, no, I mean, you just, you, just, you just stop the score. Yeah, but it's just not as good, is it? Like, it, it's it's nah. okay, but it's. Nah, nah, I think the better is just wait uh, for the. For the one turn, mm -hmm. and then uh, keep the wizard for your second half. I mean, your chaos are gonna nearly sure gonna come back, so you're gonna have a full team. Mm. Quite likely to, yeah. Yeah, quite yeah, I mean, likely. The Chorks have done a terrible team at damage this team. Yeah, they have, yeah. There's always next turn, though, isn't it? That's the thing, you know, they might just randomly <laughs> yeah. make, like, two Kazas next turn. You never yeah, like, I mean, yeah. one snake and everything's in base and you're kind of fucked, you know? Mm. But they've, they've got away with it so far, though, the elves, definitely. They have, yeah, very much so. Because, like, this this all came on, like, turn one, didn't it? Yeah. Or turn two. Turn two, turn and, and, and these three were off on turn, turn two. two was the first up. two, yeah. The first two turns. He's got a couple on the uh, line of scrimmage and then the rest happened. Wow, he does put wow, in the top of the Yeah. Remove it. Yep. So, big four plus on him. Uh, Chorf does not catch the ball. Oh, that's a lovely bounce for getting the edge five. Yeah. Ball, but... but where does he go? Exactly. Exactly. Like the bulls can. It's still a four plus pickup as well, unless he can get rid of one of those Chorfs because of the rain. Yes. 75% to pick up the ball for the Hobos. And he's going for the other uh, hobo. Yeah, I guess he's just so that like makes that wins. makes yeah like uh, now he has to pick up the ball with uh, the bull or one of the chores so that <laughs> yeah fifty percent with the reroll. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He's got five, hasn't he? So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So this guy can't pick it up and score himself. So yeah, I guess I guess he's just using the wizard to stop the score. Was oh, this is quite nice. Enough. You can get one of the tackle zones off the ball here as well. Oh no, he can't. Sorry, thought for a second he could. Now he is now is when you want to have you know the side step bear blocks guard but it gets near the ball. On a two, which is good, isn't it? Gets yeah. him out on a two from tackle and a two not from tackle. But the problem is, like the problem is now, you're just not going to count the score, which is which is still fine, you know. Like using the wizard to stop the score is still good. You can still win one nil. Yes. But, uh, but you miss your chance of the one turn, and you put all your eggs on the wall. I think now the second half will be a daca then. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be surprised. It's exactly it's exactly the same scenario. There was a uh, one one, and uh, you know if uh, Pedro scores and he gets the one turner, 
-hmm. with the difference that now he doesn't have a wizard, but he has guarant nearly guaranteed the the zero. Well, sure hands zero. on this guy. Uh, okay, right, so you right, right, five right. Plus plus I don't know. Sure I, I would r much rather go for the seventy-five percent than the fifty-five percent. I guess this way he gets to keep the reroll for the one turn if it yeah. fails. That's, That's it, because he can he can do the sure hands pick up and then just hand it directly to the guy next to him as well. Yeah. So I th it's actually fine, I think. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hand off. I guess. I guess that's the play, right? You'd, on his yeah. side, sidestep, but still, mm. you can probably free this guy, and then one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. GFI, GFI. Hand off to the hobble, which is not good, is it? Nope. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I did like it the turn four just for the chance of the counter score. That, that was the big thing. For, oh my god, there's oh, the third. Wow. There's the third dub school. Terrible, terrible timing as well with the first block. Really, really wow. terrible timing. And just another KO. Of course, the using the rerolls doesn't affect him now. It would in Blood Bowl three, wouldn't it? Because if he yeah. if he'd still had a couple of rerolls, it would still be. Yeah. It'd still be okay to do the critical turn. But. Mm -hmm. Tell you that my my fun event where I, I was uh, I used uh, three rerolls in uh, the same turn. Uh, all of them were on double skulls, <laughs> and uh, and then rolled an, another double skull in the next block afterwards. Wow. And, uh, or next time, learn to roll. It was it was really funny. I because I was like, oh my god, and like actually went like. Oh, that's really unlucky. And then looked across the table, and Shivide was sitting across from me and just crying, laughing. <laughs> and leaned over the table and went, ha ha, in my, in my face. <laughs> that's a true friend. Isn't it? That's Isn't a true it? friend. Yes, yeah. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> so now, Pedro Jack, Pedro Jack has to do the. The rolls, the GFI, is everything. This is not looking easy for the chores. <laughs> nope. It is not. So just take an old thinking block there. <sighs> well, he's cleared this guy here, but he hasn't got a reroll. But I mean, this is definitely the play, isn't it? Five plus pickup. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, he's not done it. Do it. Didn't put the other guy in range. No. He was, was he going to give it to the, uh, to the dwarf instead? Oh, because it was a GFI to get down to the other guy, but obviously it's... Oh, yeah, so one, two, three, four. It's got to be better, hasn't it? Two, two, four has got to be better than five. Yeah, two, four is better than five, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, yeah okay. two, two, four is 34.7%, rather than, of course, 33.3, .3, so there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess the thing is you can't, you can't die on a... On a handoff on to a, the other chorf. And yeah, you would exactly. get the SPP on a chorf. Mm -hmm. uh, which would level him. So I guess for 1% of difference, the fact that this yep. guy couldn't die and you would level a chorf probably makes it good mm. enough to say it was worth doing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Doesn't do anything else. Why risk the elves? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh my god, he failed two of the three two well, pluses. Well, well, for God's sake. You have one job. Yeah. <laughs> That's, right. That's why I don't like babes. Those could have been the two apples. <laughs> yeah. But at least the apples would have worked with chaos and badly hearts. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, that's rough. Uh, down a guard as well, which is massive for the DACA. Down, you know, one of his few move lads as well, move seven. I'll have to uh, and, uh, find out more about these one boobies. Player. And, a, and another guard block as well. Oh no, that guy was Zappo. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah. So yeah, it's just it's two linos, but one of them is guard block. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's two players, That's importantly. Like he could have had yes, eleven, it's, couldn't it's, he? Yes. Yes. Like it's just, it's just brutal. The ball handler didn't wake up as well. Yes. Yeah. The the hobble. The, so the, that mm. a bit more extra value from the wizard there. That he's done yeah. a, a very nice hobble. He is indeed. Because he's he's no backup ball carrier, no backup sure hands or anything. No. Sure, why would you when you've got such a nice ball fondler and ball carrier already? A ball fondler. Mm -hmm. Just making sure everybody's awake. Oh. Did boobies not work? Or did I just not hear it? Oh, I think it was spelt wrong, wasn't it? 
No, that's how you spell the boobies, isn't it? I thought it was like that. Oh, we'll it worked. To, uh, you just you find out hear more it. about these boobies. Uh, what's that was spelled? Yeah, I just I, I didn't hear it. I just didn't hear it. I'll off flux streamer anyway. <laughs> How's it going, flux? I just didn't hear it. I'm fucking dying here, by the way. This is this is horrendous. <laughs> You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Me and Fimir got this. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Thanks, guys. Hey. There you go. Thanks, guys. I'm only doing this one. I'm only doing this one. This one, uh, I want to have my dinner and uh, play some chivalry uh, or Call of Duty. Oh, cool. Mm. Sounds fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Especially now with all the news in chivalry 2. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're sending kids to war. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in their bases. I got a kill streak of uh, 58. <laughs> Very nice. With uh, including a game that has archers and people can throw you objects randomly, was really, really good. The best ever in my life. <laughs> that's it, that's my pick. Brilliant. This looks like a dacker, doesn't it? Well, no, I guess he's got guards in, so I guess it doesn't look as much like a dacker. It looks like a half dacker. Uh, well, they're, they're, I was about to say they're dodge and fast, which is why he has them in there. Well, the dodge part is irrelevant, but yeah, the fast exactly. part yeah. is the... I mean, if he was daiquiring, he'd just have them off, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd have two off if he was daiquiring. Yeah. So the in the middle. he's got guards in the middle, he's definitely punching. Mm-hmm. Which is going to so half daiquer? Yeah. I don't know, but this... This, ooh, this well, that's the Lord, that's all right. But this looks like the, the classic, I'm going to punch to see what happens, and then decide. Mm. It's, it's mm. chores. Your chance yeah. of getting anything any yeah, exactly. from punching a chorp yeah. are very low. They really are. Yeah. Okay, that's not even the blitz, so Yeah, he's got he's got a bit of hubble, hasn't he? Yeah. Probably probably the guard one. So yeah, this is this is clearly not a Daka. We could blitz him and then run back to basic. Oh mm -hmm. god. Run back. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I hate this. Yeah. I hate this because if he powered him, he wouldn't. Like he would, you know, if you put this guy, if you put this line or here and then blitz from there, then if you power him, you keep him occupied, right? And then yes. he could run back here as well, which I like to protect the two guarders. But he's done none of that. But yeah, if he powered no. him, then he's just. he's just. Doesn't he have him, a, a sure hands player? Yeah, uh, he does. Yeah, back here. Uh, okay, now, yeah. I think they said, but uh, yes, it's the only way to keep them back, both of them back. Mm -hmm. yeah. or, or not. Mm -hmm. well, he's, he's got the ball in large five, which is where you want to have the ball, isn't it, to be fair? Mm. Ah, okay, so he's geified with him to get those two. I like, I like putting somebody there to protect. To protect his... Uh, his blitz is a bit, the one's still getting blitz, isn't it? This one's still getting blitz, probably. No, he's not. I would have definitely blitzed this guy. Because he could have yeah. put the guard in and then blitzed with my Yeah, well. he could, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see a lot player. of basing here from the chorfs. Like, you know, that's what, see, he's putting that guy in there anyway. Uh, mm. So I, I would like to see a lot of basing and you know, really try and put the elves under the cosh. Yes, give the, the bulls more or less in range of everything. You can put down. Degree, yeah. You, yeah. you could have put the. He could have put down the bad uh, uh, bull because I Get think the ball carrier on. doesn't have Fuck a you. block. Uh, no, he doesn't. No, no. I think the ship. I would use the ship bull like a uh, like just a black orc, you know, because he's got no brick tack or anything. So be, he's, I would just mm. use him as like a black orc and then have this guy as your, as your central yeah. big guy. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll use a little move the crappy uh, bull down the field. To put the some pressure, because the pro elves can ignore that bull, so they have to invest someone. And yeah. even if they just put one elf, is one elf less that you know, that elf is gonna get punched next turn. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You know, you know the managing resources. Yeah. As I say, blue bodies. But he's going with the other one. Yeah, I don't like this so much because no. I want him back as the safety. 
this guy can just get tagged off now like if he if he makes some kind of break through the, mm. through this guy is the obvious one isn't it you can make a breakthrough now and then this guy could just get tagged or you could just cage it yeah now I bet he wishes he had the edge five to hand off to because that's right. really nice but uh Really nice. This looks the this looks the obvious blitz through. You could even just block a few bunch of guys as well. Too. Could just literally just punch everybody. <laughs> Which there's a certain there's a certain uh, there's a certain motivation to do that, isn't there? But I guess breaking through is pretty good as well. We shall see. He's doing none of that. Oh, okay, no, this doing is, this chain, is nice. Doing yeah, a chain, doing a free him. So maybe he's just gonna do all the punching. Should chain Alabama. Oh. <laughs> The problem is by doing this, you, do, you don't get to punch everybody because you can still punch him and punch him and punch him, but you can't punch the, this one. So you would have had to use the blitz on one of them to get one of these two would have to be in the blitz target to get. So we'd have had to dodge him, which sucks a bit. So, so that's why I didn't like the fighting option as much. But I don't know what he's doing now. I guess he's just going to move up around here. I guess to punch a hobo. I guess to punch the guard hobo, which is nice. I don't like being that close to this island. You get very reliant on um, sidestep, don't you? The ball carrier doesn't have a sidestep. There is a well, at least the bully, the, the break tackle bull is not in range, so yeah. Yeah, I guess that's it. He just wanted to get out of range of this ball. So. But the problem is that the chorp, uh, you know, they can envelop you around, and that's just a space that you just gave up. Yeah, pretty much. But you know, he's, he, this one's stunned. This one's piled. These two are over here, so yeah. there's only yeah, like got a bit of five, six players that can get around there. So it's not that bad. And this guy can get it. Yes, the, the breathing room. Yeah. It's yeah, it's all right. Yes, I don't like being on the sidelines by default. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this is looking. I mean, I would much prefer this to like if this is turn twelve. It looks a lot better, doesn't it, than doing it on turn yeah. ten. But yeah. um, I, I, this guy I would have had in front because he's more likely to get. You know, like he's got these two, he's got these two, and he's got this, so that he's more likely to get five in front of you than he is to get much behind you. So I would mm -hmm. definitely wanted this guy in front um, to make things a bit trickier. Not bad, yep. but that's yep, uh, down. the oh yeah okay that's the there is no neglect it's just uh, the movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Think of the bull background in front as well. Obviously, the bull. The bull is glorious. No, I won't give in. He's got him by the bull. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> oh, it's Dimmy G. Look. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Oh. Dimmy G has emerged from his foxhole. <laughs> Legally, he's out of the foxhole, you know, he has to come here oh, and watch his pal, Pedro Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Dim. Hello. How are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, screw up. <laughs> Stuff yourself back up your foxhole. Uh, thank, you for, thank you very much, anyway, Dimmy, for staying fantastic for two whole years. Unbelievable. Thank you very wow. much. Wow. Hello, yes. He's some lad. Love you, Dim. Mm. Yeah, this is why. See, this is this is the thing, right? Like, he's, he's jammed these five in the front now, and then, okay, he's got... He's got this out, but if he'd had this here, then he's the one who gets blitz and he sidesteps, and if he doesn't no. get knocked over, it's fine. I think Pedro did a mistake of putting the, the, the first short he moved, the guard one. He could uh -huh. have moved him back and put the claw one where the, the guard short face, and still he all got the 2D. Right, right. And now, but that's a nice position in here overall, I mean, because the... There is not many places the ball can go. No, I think he's just got to go back central again. A failed probe. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. 
<laughs> I mean to make that no, laugh Dimi, dirty. Dimi, don't leave us. Take your free time, man. You need to to recover from the shell shock of being on the front line. <laughs> he's got to get straight back on. See, see you later. He's straight back into the front lines, Dimi. Right. He can only he can only get away from Foxhole for so long. <laughs> but thank you, Dimi. Counting on him like he has to go in like. Dimi was counting on the enemy fire, but wasn't expecting the friendly fire. <laughs> the ward does need him. Yeah, I think this is the play. Just go around back to here. But yeah, whereas I think you know, if if the if if he'd got the guarder in front and this guy up to here, then maybe he could have turned the corner on turn twelve. Then turn 13, then maybe he's turn 14, and then going 15, which would have been all right. Maybe he's 14 or 15 would have yeah. gone in. I don't think he could have stalled out the whole half. But no, I, I think he could. And he might have done, obviously, but I think it would have been a struggle, a lot to ask to get the, the full half stall out. But now it looks like he can get into trouble and get turned over, more likely. Yeah, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's always tricky when you have to come back like that. This is usually what I'm gonna, when I try a two-turn score. I just get <laughs> shut down and end up taking the whole half to score. <laughs> it's not classic no. uh, play of uh, blue ball streamers. The <laughs> six to eight turns quicker score. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, an absolute classic. I mean, quick scoring is obviously still better than dacking, right? I mean, just just quick score. If you can, it's sometimes good, <laughs> but it's not automatic as you can roll ones like this. It, it really isn't. I just didn't say saying it to you. Yeah, I knew. I knew. Mm -hmm. Being a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being a dickhead's cool. Okay, this is a big one. Roll Doesn't re roll it because it. it was a loner. It makes I you wonder why I didn't. What I was waiting for. Yeah, it makes you wonder why I didn't dodge out with these two first because this is an instant hit on the ball. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Instant 2D on wow. the ball. Wow. Oops, a daisy. Then what happens when you do a blockless dodge with a loner? Yes. A blockless dodge! <laughs> Is that is that a, is that a, is that a, is that a thing now? <laughs> Been a thing for a what while a, now. Yeah, a I, blackless uh, dodge. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, it is, is it? Oh. <laughs> a blockless dodge. <laughs> Classic. Nice. Gosh. Now, this is one of these moments where you don't want to roll any more dice. Just go for the ball. Yeah, I think you go for the ball here. Yeah, I think it's... You know this, uh, okay, move pieces around and uh, prepare for any kind of file state, but doing that block there, one of the six chances of ruining your roll there. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. You could three dice this blitzer, to be fair, with my blow. That's a pretty... Pretty mm -hmm. decent thing to do. Oh no, he mm -hmm. can't three dice him because he's <coughs> he needs uh, he's oh well, and he can't hit him with him because he has to. He, he would yeah. sidestep there, so he's. I, I would have I would have uh, done the blitz first, then hit him, and then do that three mm -hmm. D. Mm -hmm. he, do the he blitz. Really see what happens. Him. See what happens. Where the ball ends. I mean, you can just, uh, you know, even if you, you get pushes, you can put the ball next to a chorf and then put other chorfs around. So that's uh, very nice. Yeah, oh, there we go. Gets doesn't the get him and does on the second. I don't like that square. Gets the, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go more like back towards his own guys rather than away from mm -hmm. his own guys. But oh, he's got the perfect scatter though. So there you go. Wonderful. Ooh. Oh, wow. he perfectly read the algorithm there, you know, to, uh... Wow, that is insane, isn't it? That's so lucky. Like, that's why I would have pushed it back, like, because, yes. you know, it there goes to any of these, there's a chance it scatters up, most chances it scatters out that way, whereas here it could have just gone here or somewhere, and this and is pretty terrible. Anyway, the, the chance yeah. of the, the, the Dodge Elf grabbing the ball was exactly the same, putting, you know, putting the, like, a, like a scatter. Yep. 
<laughs> Sorry for extreme. The problem is that the JFW is a little bit dead, isn't it? So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Watch this space. Stay well, tuned. you can still load up the game and make some wrestlers. Yeah. But then I don't know whether it's just abandoned. Oh, sorry. Abandoned ship, like oh. it was the Costa Concordia. I'm just going to have a massive yawn. Um, I don't know whether they just abandoned 2K19 completely and then make, you know, new players on 2K22 and then at least do rumbles, you know, like, it's, I guess. It's, so I don't know, I need a thing. I need to have a big think about Jimmy, it. Jimmy, we are very close to 2023 and, you know, yeah. there, there's many chances of another one coming up next yeah, year. Yeah, will they release a new one next year? Oh, yeah, they will, yeah. Do they release one every year? Yeah, they do. Yeah, except they except they didn't release a two K twenty because okay. two. No, sorry, they didn't. Re so what happened was they did two K nineteen, then they released two K twenty, but it was so bad that they didn't make a two K twenty one. Ah, <laughs> so two K nineteen was in a unique position of like getting three years worth of it because nobody played twenty twenty was an absolute disaster, and mm -hmm. then, so and it was so bad that twenty one didn't. Uh, didn't happen so yeah 2k19 was actually and then obviously there was the whole there was the whole uh you know lockdown which made Scuro available to pour loads of time <laughs> into being a lunatic so, so that was that, so it was like the perfect storm really of of like you know that a really long game being around the game being a, like a playable for a long time whereas now it's just going to be every year churned out and it's going to be carrying on being shit okay so yeah Yeah, let it be dead. Yeah, fair enough, Scooby, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe 2K23 will be better than 2K. 2K22 was actually just garbage with the ropes. Like, the rope view is so bad, and the lack of customization is annoying. So. I don't know. Not really, Steve. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll have a think because I, yeah. I might do it to myself again, but I might just think, fuck mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Whatever you decide, bud. Yeah. Yes, I mean, I could put all the effort I put into 2K19 into something nothing to do with playing little children's games for hey. no reward. That hey, would be an idea, wouldn't it? Games are great. Don't, don't be shitting on little children's games. I fucking love little children's games. Mm. So, uh, so they are not little children's games. I mean, you can put the little children to play a uh, ball. Exactly. I mean, they can and they have fun, but you know, it's, it's not the main target. <laughs> It used to be when I was fourteen and I bought Blood Bowl, the boxed game, second, third edition. I was the target audience for it. And yes, I mean, uh, there was, you know, with all, uh, because Warhammer in general was targeted to uh, people that age. Yep. I remember the paintings and the models and all that were very colorful and uh, a lot of silly stuff and all that. Yep. Now you have. 70 novels you need to read of Warhammer 40k, you need to get the proper <laughs> suffering of the Primarchs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the target is exactly the same people, but now yeah. they're older and they think, oh, I need uh, things darker because darker is more mature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, Skuro. <laughs> stream, stream us off trying to shit you five idiots. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you if you thought if you thought the quest to to go to Mount Doom was it Mount Doom and and destroy yep. the One Ring was an epic journey. Just just think how epic it is trying to schedule five people to play a game of D and D. It's just ludicrous. It's just ludicrous how it's, much effort it takes. Yes, it's one of the problems, you know, people, everybody has a life and all that, and everybody thinks, oh, this is gonna be the, you know, that. No, no, I can't. No, this no is no. Well, they're also because of the, the the nature of the the fact that all of the people who are involved are all streamers. Mainly, they're people who play CCL, and the reason they play CCL is because they couldn't be fucked playing in a structured league. And and those are the guys you're trying to get to play a structured game with. In fact, that's the truth. That's why most of the successful games nowadays are based on the concept: come, play, and live whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but you know, I'm most most D and D groups that I know who've been like continually at it. Any the the vamp, vampire is quite popular over here, and um, uh, yeah, those guys have been with the, they've been playing with the same group of people. Um, like it, there's five of them regular with about eight to twelve that are there at least twice a month, mm. um, and they've been playing since like the nineties. You know. Mm. Which is and my good. pals back home still uh, play, and I will, I will be still playing with them, mm -hmm. if I was the... Uh... I mean, it's it, to be fair, schools, if you, you can't really compare you joining and playing two games in a row. We played two games in a row when we started. <laughs> You know, give it ten weeks, and then there's also the the different things that happen and stuff, isn't there? So you know, like let's let's not get too clever, Skuro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snakes the pick up there. Uh, after all, after all, there. you're only in you're only in Red Hair's game because it it, it broke down instantly, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you know. Yeah, in fact, when you started the five uh, idiots, I was offered a spot, and I told you, "Look, I love to, but I can guarantee I'm gonna be able to be there, so I'll better pass." Mm. And I was right; I wouldn't be able to be there uh, most of the days. There you go. Mm. Yeah, this—that's the way. That's the way for run. Yeah, well, that's what we wanted to, but then you know things happen, don't they? So they do, of course. Yeah, they do. I mean, Dimmy was perfect. Dimmy was Dimmy was like Mark. Dimmy was the best, Mark. but then he got he got pissed off with everybody else letting us down. Mm -hmm. So that that was the thing, right? He got he got pissed off with everybody else, and then he was like, "Fuck this." That's just a massive time investment. I mean, uh, I remember the good old days when I was playing with my pals. We started at night, uh, nine at night, or something like that, and finished at five in the morning. You know, they were like, "Oh yeah, oh, wow." Juicy sessions, you know, they yeah. were on dinner and all that, and now it's like two hours, three hours, doesn't, it's not the same feeling. It's like, what is the standing? We, we need to spend two hours doing stupid jokes before we even started to play. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. 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 Well, that's the thing, obviously, we can't do that with the uh, with having Yanks involved. So, we have to Pretty do it the weekend. there, not to guess, because it was, as I was trying to say, there, there is a game blowback. Um, so uh, he snake, snake picked up, but uh, wasn't able to get the, the the dodge or the square into which the ball popped was uh, favourable for the chorps, But uh, that one D was available for him to just go and uh, um, pick it up. It's going to be very tricky to pick it up, even with the agility five here. Yeah, it's all the tackle, isn't it? It's... Yeah. The rain. Yeah, the rain is the problem because the rain makes it a four, and four isn't four is pretty shit. And to have to use your reroll that early is annoying. But did you can get it. Oh, baby. Roll a six and two there plus, you go. Two plus punt, yeah. Yeah, punt. But then the problem is, yeah, I guess you guess he's... I guess he's yeah, defenses. I guess you do punt it because it's just too easy from the power. Yeah. I, I think you have to, even though, because like, it's still, it's a... Like, the ball's on the wrong side of the pitch for the chorf staff to go and pick it up again. Um, so the, the, the kick lad can go back and get it. But it's a four plus, etc. Yeah, I think I like the punt. I think you might have done. I, might, I think it might have been better to do the three plus punt because then he could have got it a bunch further away, couldn't he? I think yeah. it was like it was maybe I. Worth going for the you're three. probably right. Uh, I think the one would just, you know, fuck you again, though. Well, it would, but I think this just doesn't do enough. It might. Okay. Do. It I might do, but it doesn't look like it was enough. We'll see. I wouldn't have the balls to roll the three, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's probably no. correct. Yeah, I that's the thing. That is the thing, isn't it? Like that is a lot yeah. of it. Is that you know a lot of the time you've got to do things that people yeah. people generally don't have the minerals yeah. for. Yeah, I'd be like, no, I'm right. I'll just take the two things because the one is just so bad. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't. Know. But sure, we'll see. So I, I guess he just picks up with the guard and then GFI fouls the edge five. Hmm. Hmm. That's not terrible. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Because you can cover with a you can cover with a bull. Yep. And he can 
go there, pick it up, and then you can go through here. Yep. That's a nice square. Mm, I, I prefer this square. Uh, well, it's it's all about. I, I suppose it depends on whether you get the. Uh, oh, well, that goes free now as well. It yeah, I'll do on this block first, that. right? If if you do this block first and then you yeah, pal, then, then you, you know can that then that you can free, this. Yeah. yeah. Because this covering this is pretty important. So yeah, if he, if he's here first, then this mm -hmm. this square mm -hmm. is then more correct. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Or you could just cover as well. You could also, rather than going for this valley, you could just cover this side with him as well, right? Yeah, which I think was the other plan that he had to go for. Mm. Yeah. Because now he's got in the way of the foul mm -hmm. by standing there. So now maybe he will just move him over the ball. This yeah. is safer, isn't it? Yeah, or maybe he was never going to go for the foul and was going to go for the cover all the time. Yep, maybe. Did like the foul. But in that case, he should have moved this before he did the block. Oh, oh my god, he GFIs. I need to roll the extra GFI, man. I don't think he needed that. He didn't need it to score, but I guess he was scared of getting. Well, after this, after this, he has reach. three turns to score. Yeah, he could have. He could have. He could have come in. Okay, fair enough. One, two, three, four, five. There, and then GFI, GFI. Then he could have got maybe Zagari. I mean, I don't. It's yeah, I don't think he should have GFI, but. Mhm. Mm he did. So fair enough. He did, and it worked. Mhm. Mm <laughs> so it was correct. <laughs> That's how that the, works. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, now. On, on, um, not many elves left in the beach, anyway. No, no. no they kind of... The, the worst happened, which is that they, they failed something while still in base. And then it all just went to shit. Yeah. Which is uh, kind of the story of uh, pro elves in general, right? Yeah, pretty much. That and failing KO rolls. <laughs> yeah, fuck me. Because <laughs> he was only on nine at the start, right? Yeah, that was brutal. Yeah. Fair play. <sighs> Again, if the Pro Owls manage to reach uh, overtime, I think they will be the ones with advantage in overtime if they manage to roll a few two pluses to get players back, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. PC's, PC's in agreement with the there, Fimir, saying that, um, yeah, in theory, get in and get, it, get out and punch, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, could still be good, you. Correct. <laughs> I love saying correct. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It really is. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep's pretty good. Yeah, yep. Yep. Even if I toot my own horn. <laughs> mm. All right, Who's that? Channel. Yeah, it's your channel. You can do what you want. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. She's an old wizard to be handy. I think we have seen a foul. Well, I mean, we kind of have to, because if it doesn't break armor, it's a three dice uphill. <sighs> With wrestle, yeah, ain't the worst. I mean, it's probably actually the worst thing. It's close to the it's worst, yeah. Close to the worst, but <laughs> it's no, it is. it's an it's an auto armor break, so it's fine. It's close to the worst, but mm -hmm. it also yeah, auto armor break. No, it wasn't mm -hmm. four plus four plus armor. So oh wow, four go. plus, yeah, cool. Woo! Mm. There was a chance. You're telling me there was, was a chance? Yeah. I mean, you know, we've seen three dice before in Chalice. It's it was. More on than it should have been. Uh, I mean, yes, uh, it was uh, three dice, mm -hmm. but he only needs some push just to move yeah. the, that over a little back to make him just you know, move him back and then yeah, his, render his, his uh, BFI moose. Yeah, tight. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
super interesting, yeah. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> it is pretty funny, isn't it? There you go. There you go, PC. When, yeah. when we will hit the, here, you know, the head of Jimmy hitting the... the, the... <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks, PC. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Yep. This is a battle. <laughs> this is an absolute battle, to be honest. Uh, the vaguely, vaguely awake, or the vaguely interested, we're kind of used to. The vaguely <laughs> awake is, is 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 something we haven't experienced in about a month. <laughs> Drop the player now. He's dropped the schedule now. Which, funnily enough. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh. <laughs> Last three roll. You have to eat that one. Yep. Stun's unfortunate, but you know it's still a little tricky. I mean, it isn't. But it's, 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 he's got a little. He's got a, a ways to go. He's only just in range. Hmm. You know, I was thinking the other day about the, how the inducements work in this game and the mercenaries that you can get with one skill. That means you hire a guy that has that skill. Yes. So, and it could be any skill available to them. So that uh, means... On a, on, a, on, a, on a normal roll, yes. On a normal. So that means there are mercenaries there with pass block waiting for yes. their day to come. There are, yeah. yep. I mean, that That's explains the why they're mercenaries, doesn't it? <laughs> It does. <laughs> you know? It's uh, it actually is in in sevens. The whole idea of sevens is that it's like it's the it's five aside. It's the sevens. It's the pubs league. So um, and guys who get uh, skills, all of the skills are random. And guys who get skills, if they get a certain number of skills, you roll a dice for them before the game, and they've been head hunted by the local big team. Mm. So that's exactly where those guys come from. Some guy who had rolled, you know pass blocker uh you know monstrous mouth and he gets picked up just in case as a merc lad to go and play for the big league team for this one big game yeah never to be actually fired or hired yeah poor bastard but yeah that is you know that is uh, fought for though those old mercenaries with pass mm. block <laughs> shadow win and all mm. that you know Dwarf Longbeard with shadowing, yeah. Waiting, you know, one day, one day. They're, yeah. they're all the they're all the players that were given a skill by accident, aren't they? That's it. <laughs> and then sacked. <laughs> and sacked by yeah, because you accidentally chose the wrong one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that was for that guy. What have I done? <laughs> like see Bro's hilarious orc team where he thought he was giving uh sure hands to the guy who had move, but he didn't. He gave it to the guy who had guard. And then had to go and give the other guy something else instead. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really funny. Okay, foul coming. So we had two passable ball carriers, but neither of them were the, the actual bright ball carrier. Oh, man. Randy Davo and the piling on he took on that uh, black orc because wow. he thought it was a blitzer that leveled. Yeah, I I, I did um, I took multiple block on fumble once just because I misclicked oh. taking mighty oh. blow. Obviously, I saw the M yeah. B. And, yep. and took multiple block, and then that was before I knew you could ask admins to change a skill. So I, uh, so I just deleted the team. <laughs> here comes, here comes. One D. Oh. He gets the fourth down. Amazing. Oh no, yeah. I'm a break. Unlucky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, just needed to push, right? Yeah, no, he's, he's just one. Oh yeah, he just needed a push. Yeah, oh my needed, god. Needed a push. Yeah, wow, exactly. it's a double GFI. That's pretty bad. Should have really tried hard. Like he should not have been having to make a double no, for the year, I don't think. No. Okay, he can probably chain this guy in maybe one, two, three, four, so you can get this guy in this guy. I know, but you can be they're all filled, he could have done it. He could have been. Oh could have no. Done it. Well that's the first one as well. Yeah, he literally could have done it. Because there's only yeah, one space there, so he oh, only yeah, he's done it because it's gone blue. Oh okay. cool. Yeah, there that's, we go. Thanks, all right, thanks, okay. that, that, that was yeah. the... <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, call an admin. That's some cheating there. We yeah, we didn't. Yeah. We never saw the last uh, <laughs> roll. <laughs> Wowie. Mm, good. Um, well, yeah. Well, that was a game of bubble. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? What a finish. <laughs> what a 
<laughs> get that finish. But um, yeah, he, what what he could have done there, Pedro, is he could have he could have filled in the gaps and then pushed the pushed the size depth only one square, then pushed him again to uh you know to push his guy forward. Then he could have blitzed him with tackle. I'm pretty sure, and and, and I'm pretty sure uh, filled in the other square, and I'm pretty sure he could have. Uh, he could have pushed him one square forward. Maybe he's not two, but I'm Glorious. sure he could have got him one square no, forward. I won't give yeah, in without a GFI. Until I'm but, um, yeah, and congrats I will Pedro. Defend. Anyway. Mm. I will defend. Yeah, congrats to Pedro. Commiserations to Spartacus. Yep, and thank you very much, Zan Zandra, for the sub. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Absolutely yes. glorious. <laughs> glorious and a big goodbye to our viewers in Singapore. <laughs> That we're able to enjoy this game with Pedro Jack, Lone Standing Member, or oh, Spartacus is here. Yeah. So first time in the chat. Wow, glorious. Saying hello. something nice. This is a true first time ever. <laughs> hello, 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 uh, Spartacus. Uh, well done, well played. Uh, GG, well done, Pedro. Great job, lads. Glorious. Oh, wow, a YouTube viewer. Amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, brilliant. Hey, you're glorious. an orc thrower, right? Yeah, here's your throw. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Throw, oh man, oh man, glorious, oh man, oh man, right, well, um, what I have to do is I have to wrap up the, uh, the YouTube video, the YouTube, so thank you very much, Kalon and Faimir, both of you are absolute legends, um, <laughs> uh, no problem, <laughs> <laughs> and thank uh, yeah, congrats Pedro, commiserations Spartacus, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.